으쏘쏘괜찮아요이리와네네 Deep breath. 하나더 Deep breath. Deep breath. 해주세요어쿵했어요 Can you do deep breath? 해봐그렇지하나더 Wow. Good job. We are here for another get artsy fartsy with your toddler. If you've seen our apartment tour, we had a lot of empty frames to be filled. Maybe there's a DIY or something coming up soon. We'll see. We'll see. Figured in order to fill those frames, we'll just have fun and try out a little bit of um, minimalist DIY, something simple so that she can. Easily do it, and also for you know to fit the vibe of what we've got going on so far. <laughs> so we're gonna take these frames and do stuff with them. Oh, 조심조심이거유리라서조심해야돼요유리어떻게요꽝어떻게요꽝그렇지 First project was. The paint. So right here we've got going on. Basically, we dropped a bunch of paint colors onto a canvas and then spread it thin. The key is with this to not overspread. So then all the texture or the colors will mix instead of being a nice, cool blend of colors. You'll notice we are wearing our. Tie dyed shirts because we tie dyed with coffee.、Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen that, she's super cute and somewhat helpful in there. The second project is a little more simple than the first one, but you just get a shadow box frame and collect things that you want to put in it.、Um, back in January or February,、uh, our family went to Squim. To do a little mini getaway and、uh, collected some shells that represented each of our family members. This was when we had Parker, so I really wanted to frame this now because、uh, he means a lot to us still. So、um, I just hot glue gunned the shells while she worked on a, an extra piece of canvas, which actually turned out a little better、uh, than the one that I like tried to micromanage. <laughs> The third one is textured wall art. So I mean, you can Pinterest or Google it, and you'll see pretty much everybody has already done it before. I mean, textured wall art isn't new, but want to do that with bead. Basically, you just do a thick layer of. The material that you use, or the modeling paste, as I have used, and then use different tools to just add texture,、um, and then let that dry. Most of those materials are white, so if you want a white one, then great. You don't have to cover it with paint, but I kind of want like a creamish off-white color. So we'll see. I might end up painting over it. Might just leave it if I'm feeling a little lazy. And、uh, get all of those frames. I've seen better wall art, but don't tell her I said that. But this is fun. She really enjoyed it. So, at least I hope. So this is pretty simple. Everything is framed. It goes on your wall. Most of the wait time is just from letting everything dry. But other than that, Harper had fun. At least I hope. And、uh, I had fun making it. It got a little messy. So to be honest, if you want to not do this with your toddler,、uh, that's probably fine. <laughs> if you're a mom and you're with your kiddos all the time, then holy cow, it gets busy. Wow, this is a lot messier than I was expecting. So maybe don't do this with your toddler and just do it when you have free time, when your your kid is like freaking. Thirty and out of the house.、Um, oh, did you just flip the paper and get the paint all over? Yo, what is this? What have I done? 
Anyway, oh goodness, I didn't realize how stressful it was to have paint covered toddler hands. But you know, it gives them something to do and it's a little, makes the art a little more sentimental and fun for you to look back on. Oh, piano? Okay, hip hop. And lastly, thanks for watching! Ani pa? Okay. Oh, what else?